when it comes to the top 2 percent, what I'm not going to do is to uh, extend further a tax cut for folks who don't need it, uh, which would cost uh, close to a trillion dollars. And it's very difficult to see how you make up that trillion dollars, if we're serious about deficit reduction, just by closing loopholes and deductions. Uh, you know, the math tends not to work. Uh, and I think it's important to establish a basic principle that was debated extensively during the course of this campaign. I mean, this, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. This was, if there was one thing that everybody understood was a big difference between myself and Mr. Romney, it was when it comes to how we reduce our deficit, I argued for a balanced, responsible approach, and part of that included making sure that uh, the wealthiest Americans pay a little bit more. Uh, I think every voter out there understood that that was an important debate, and the majority of voters agreed with me. Not, by the way, more voters agreed with me on this issue than voted for me. So we've got a clear majority of the American people who recognize if we're going to be serious about deficit reduction, we've got to do it in a balanced way. The only question now is, are we going to hold the middle class hostage in order to go ahead and let that happen? Uh, or can we all step back and say, here's something we agree on. We don't want middle class taxes to go up. Let's go ahead and lock that in. That will be good for the economy. It will be good for consumers. It will be good for businesses. It takes the edge off the fiscal cliff. And let's also then commit ourselves to the broader package of deficit reduction that includes entitlement uh, changes and it includes potentially tax reform, as well as uh, I'm willing to look at additional work that we can do on the discretionary spending side. So uh, I want a, a big deal. I want a comprehensive deal. I want to see if we can, uh, you know, at least for the foreseeable future, provide certainty to businesses and uh, the American people so that we can focus on job growth, so that we're also investing in the things that we need. But uh, right now, what I want to make sure of is, is the taxes on middle class families don't go up. And there's a very easy way to do that. We could get that done by next week. 